Hi guys. Um, so I'm sitting down. I'm just cleaning off my little table where I have my stuff for my video this morning. And I'm so sad. I love this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea setting spray. But this little mini guy, it like either won't spray or it's got like this really strong stream that like hits you in the eye or the cheek or something. That sucks. I did film a little like 10 minute makeup today, but it was very like simple, basic, and I worked today till, I worked eight to three, but I actually left like 30 minutes early because it was so dead. Like, I don't think people even realize that stores are open on New Year's Day, so kind of silly that we were open. I'm not doing anything to my makeup. I'm just like patting it in because I've got like oily and then that spray is killing me. So I'm home now. I had a really good healthy lunch so I packed a like mixed greens it was like spinach tomato one boiled egg and then I had three slices of mango with tahini on it and like a little handful of raspberries so that was my lunch it was really good and healthy I had coffee this morning and that was it now after we go for a long walk I'm probably going to shower I'll show you guys what I make for dinner because we're having like a chicken fajita bake thing it's a recipe I'm just trying for the first time so I'll show you guys that I've been to this park before I showed you guys in a previous vlogmas but I will definitely like vlog a little bit with my phone while we're there and show you because it's really pretty it's a little chilly outside but I think it'll be good like a nice brisk little walk I think we're gonna do that instead of going to the gym because I'm feeling a walk you know so I will talk to you guys in a little bit hey guys we're at the park and look at this this one's a little less creepy than all the men carvings. I try to call him Mufa. Look, he's a squirrel. His butt and his tail. Hello, squirrel. So I'll call you Silas. Oh, it's a creepy one. He's missing a tooth. Guys, so this is dinner. So this consists of, we've got two chicken breasts in here. I added taco seasoning and some pepper. I then diced up onions and just all these different colors of peppers and drizzled olive oil over it. So I'm sticking it in the oven on 375 and then about halfway through I'm going to sprinkle some cheese on top. So this is like a chicken fajita bake. We're going to see how it turns out. I'll show you guys the finished product in a bit. All right, so this is what it's looking like. I am kind of slicing up this chicken. It looks really good. I added cheese about three fourths of the way through, and then I've got some whole wheat tortillas in the oven. So we're gonna have like little fajitas, and they look and smell really, really yummy. So I'm excited. I'm starving. Hey guys, I look like a wreck because I just woke up, and I'm feeling kind of yucky actually. I think my body's just like adjusting to eating. Um, like so much more good stuff that my body is like what is this what are you doing and i did work out for the past two days while i say work out i exercised i walked for about 45 minutes was about the length of time it was really really hilly and um when i started working out the day before i already started having sciatic nerve pain somebody wants to say hi so sweet um, so let me know like if you have sciatic nerve pain and what you do if there's anything that helps um, because I just kind of have to push through it and unfortunately like I'm just in pain um, and I don't like to take a lot of medicine at all like I rarely take anything um, I take no medications regularly like nothing and I feel best that way so I don't like to take anything unless I really need to and yeah my sciatic nerve like <laughs> I can vacuum my sciatic nerve hurts I will start working out my sciatic nerve hurts so yeah it's kind of annoying but if you have any solutions for that let me know because I'll try anything um because at this point I'm just like pushing through the pain I am going to go back to the gym I actually have a lot to do I need to go to the store and get a few extra items that Aldi didn't have and get the cat some tuna because every time I open a can of like vegetables or something they keep like running in there thinking that there's tuna and I feel bad what are you, what are you doing darling so I'm about to have some coffee and then I'm going to finish editing and upload a video I edit it like all the way through and it's just so long like I filmed a face full of first impression that's like all affordable apart from like one or two items and these cats are crazy in here right now 
and it was like an hour and 20 minutes that I filmed but I only got it down to like 38 minutes and I feel like that's still really long so I'm essentially going to just go through it all again 38 minutes I'd love to get it down more but also don't want to like chop out like good stuff out of the video either so we're gonna see what we can do there I'm gonna shorten it if there's areas that are just like you know trim the fat if you will so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit I'm in my least favorite place ever Walmart, because I thought I had way more time I thought I only had to cook the roast for four hours so I was gonna upload my video go work out go to the store get the roast and then I saw that it was six hours so I needed to run to the store immediately and get the last of a few little things that I needed I just need to get some ranch seasoning packets now I didn't realize I was gonna have to rush so now I'm gonna go home I did upload my video faithful of first impressions of affordable makeup so go check that out it's linked below and then I'm gonna prepare this roast make sure that it's I don't know doing what it's supposed to do it's my first time using my crock pot I'm pretty sure and then what's this one? seasoning I guess I'll get the seasoning what's the difference do you know Um, I guess I'll get the seasoning ones. Two different recipes call for it. So that's all I have to have. And then I am, after I get that ready, I'm going to go work out, check on it, and then I think I'll film something. I don't know what. Hey guys, so I have now got this going in the crock pot. I'm going to show you. I just got it put in there not too long ago. So I basically put in a roast, a half a pack of ranch seasoning, a pack of brown gravy mix because they didn't have au jus, um, but some of the recipes call for that, and garlic salt, and then I put a stick of butter, which you can see right there in the middle, and then red potatoes and carrots all around. So this is what it's looking like. I'm going to hope that it turns out okay. Um, it does have several hours to go. And I'm going to turn this down to low. And this is just going to be cooking. I'm about to head to the gym. Hey guys, so it is now Thursday morning. I'm just in my neighborhood um, because I had to turn back around because I realized A, I needed gas, and then B, I didn't have my wallet. So I did figure it out before it was too late. I got like zero sleep. I'm tired. Ugh. But I'm not, I don't feel like super, super tired. I just feel a little tired. So thank goodness. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I didn't need that much sleep. We'll see. So I am taking my laptop and camera with me today. I might try to vlog a little bit, but I'm going to edit during my lunch break. I'm about to get out here on the road. Hey guys, so I just went for a long walk in the park. Um, my, my arm is super sore. I don't know what I did when I worked out. Um, but so I'm not doing anything like weight wise, at least for a couple of days. Um, for arms or back because I'm still a little sore and I want to make sure I don't stop myself from being able to work out so we may go back to the gym tonight and do legs I'm thinking about doing that but I wanted to come home and make a healthy lunch so I've got these spinach herb wraps this is what I'm going to use and then I'll show you the rest of the ingredients I think I'm gonna use the cracked black pepper turkey but I do also have rotisserie seasoned chicken breast um, these could be a little bit better, but it's pretty good. I'm going to have tomato. I've got some lettuce. Also, I've got to wash a head of lettuce. I've got some avocado, some bell pepper, and then I'm going to put just a little bit of sour cream because I love that so much. And then maybe some Colby Jack cheese, but I'm trying to keep it healthier. So I may stick with more like veggies, but I'll show you the finished product in a little bit. All right. So here's my wrap. It's almost ready. Oh dear. I let it get a little bit too crispy. Um, but I've got uh, a couple slices of turkey, a couple slices of chicken, avocado, lettuce, tomato. I've got just one piece of Colby Jack cheese. And then I sprinkled it with pepper. And now I've also made this. I just put a little um, ranch seasoning into sour cream, like a light sour cream. So this is probably the worst thing I'm going to put on it. But it's going to make it, oops, it's going to make it super yummy. So this is what my late lunch is. What time is it? Yeah, it's already like 3.30. Um, but at least I'm eating. So there's that. That was all my like chopping ingredients there. But that's my wrap. I'm about to eat this. I'm also drinking, um, I have it in this like sports bottle. I'm drinking the Paracone Superberry Acai. It's basically a supplement. It's really good antioxidants, um, good for your skin, and helps me drink a lot of water. So I'm doing that. And here we go. So after this, I'm going to shower and then I'll probably film a video. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. 
Hey guys, it's now Sunday night. I worked 10 to 7. No, 11 to 7, sorry. I've worked a pretty long day and I came home and immediately took my makeup off. So if I'm looking a little shiny, that's why. I'm about to actually like deep cleanse my face because I only use like a makeup removing oil and then kind of put on some moisturizer and I'm going to take a bath. But I hadn't talked to you guys in a day or two i don't know maybe i talked to you guys yesterday but it's getting close to the end of this vlog week we're back to a normal week obviously and i wanted to share with you guys that um my like diet exercise plan is going really well just like an update i've only been to the gym a couple of times but we have been going to the park and going walking as well and then i do things at home too um, it's just like my up and down schedule is the only thing preventing me from doing everything that I want to do. But I do plan on going tomorrow to the gym. I'm off tomorrow. So I want to go to the gym. I want to edit. I obviously want to put my vlog up. And I don't know what else. I really need to organize my closet. I'm going to be honest. I need to do that so bad. But right now I'm just, I don't know when I can find the time. And I'm more about using my energy for YouTube and Instagram and uh, working out. So that's what it's about. And I'm already down like seven pounds. Um, I've been checking it every day. Well, as of today, it actually said 11, which to me seems kind of crazy. Um, and I'm sure a lot of it is, you know, water weight, um, things like that. And just that initial like drop because I've cut out all sodas entirely and I cooked every meal at home. A lot of them have been more healthy. Tonight was like a cheat night. We had tacos, but really it's not that bad. I mean, it definitely could get better, um, but we had whole wheat tortillas. Um, we had like a lean ground beef. I did put sour cream and cheese and lettuce and tomato. So it was kind of balanced, but still had a few like bad, bad-ish things in it. So that was like my cheat meal, even though it wasn't too bad, but it was super yummy. I feel like a few more weeks and It'll just be like a normal like a lifestyle thing uh, right now it's still you know a change or transition so it's going well I'm going to have some wine tonight that's also a bit of a cheat I haven't had wine any this week um, and really I would like to kind of cut that out too but you know a wine and a bath is like my treat thing for me it's my relaxation my fun me time so for now I'm gonna keep that in and then as I go I may decide to cut that out entirely too but I'm really I'm really excited because I'm making progress so I will talk to you guys in a little bit hey guys so it is now Monday it's almost five o'clock it's literally two minutes till and I just finished filming an Instagram video and you may be like how'd you finish when your makeup's not done well my silly ass did everything and then realized that I never moisturized and like the moisturizer was part of the video. <laughs> so I like took off all my face makeup and then put on moisturizer. I used the Too Faced Pretty Rich palette and it's really gorgeous. The glitters are so nice. Um, it didn't blend quite as good as I thought it was going to. It took just a bit more work, but overall I really like it and the glitters are really pretty. Um, so yeah, I had like everything done. I like finished the video and then was like, oh, I didn't use that. So you guys will have to go check it out and see if you can spot the mistake there. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, definitely be sure to go follow me because I am putting, um, I'm trying to do at least once a week, do a video on Instagram of like doing my makeup and all that. Cause A, they're really fun for me. Like I enjoy making them a lot, but also I think it's going to be a great way to kind of like grow my Instagram possibly. Um, cause yeah, I don't focus on Instagram hardly at all so I need to spend a little bit more time on that. I use several Glam Glow products. I used the Glow Setter. I used the little highlighting palette. <laughs> the moisturizer. So yeah a lot of cute things. Some of them kind of new. Some of them not. So yeah make sure to go follow me. I went to work out today. I had a really good workout. I did 45 minutes on the elliptical and then I did glute exercises like the machine. I don't know what you call it, where you push it back with your leg and then I did squats with weights. I did side bends and curls with weights. I think that was all I did today, but I was like, I was sweating up a storm. I had a really good like calorie burn in there. So yeah, I was pretty pleased. It was like 450 calories according to my Apple watch on the elliptical. We're having leftover tacos tonight. I totally forgot that we had like enough for two meals. So I guess it's like two cheat-ish days, but still, you know, kind of healthy. So I'm not too mad at it. 
and then I really need to go to the grocery store. I don't know when I'm gonna find the time. I got some like bad news today for uh, my best friend or one of my best friends, her uh, brother passed away. So I'm gonna try to go into work later on Wednesday and go to the services. Um, I just like, oh, I wish I could take this pain away from her. I know how it feels and like I just, I cried and cried this morning cause I'm not because it's like my thing, but because I was like, I know how she's feeling and I like, I really wish I could stop her from feeling that way. So that was that. I was, it's just well, a bad start to the morning, but I'm trying not to, you know, let that affect me too much. I'm going to go there and be there for her and it'll probably be a tough day for me because it kind of brings up everything, you know, that you could possibly remember bad. So, you know, that, that may be kind of tough, but then... You know, I'll get past it and just try to be there for her. So yeah, I'm going to get ready to put this vlog up. Hopefully it's not, I think it's going to be a little on the longer side, but hopefully not too long. Also, I keep using my Smile Brilliant. Look at my teethies. They're really good. And honestly, I don't ever do them very long because my teeth are just like ultra sensitive. So I do it for like 30, 45 minutes at a time. And my teeth look really white and I rarely do it. Like it's maybe once a week now. So yeah, I'm going to put this vlog up and edit one of my Instagram videos so be sure to check that out thank you guys so so much for watching this vlog if you are here with me I really appreciate you guys and thank you guys so much for commenting constantly um, that truly like means a lot to me and also I see that a lot of you just give my videos a thumbs up and thank you. you know the more likes and comments the more that people will see it so you are helping me grow so I truly appreciate that Thank you so much for taking a moment to do that when you watch my videos. So thanks again, guys. I love you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.